Can you start with saying your name, where you're from, and the gym? So, my name is Stephen Apong. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, uh, Canada. I'm fighting out of uh, Westside Muay Thai, uh, out of Ottawa, Canada. Between Road to One, how do you feel about that? Are you excited? I feel super excited. Uh, I've been fighting for a good six, seven years. Uh, we never had opportunities like this back in the day, so I'm super excited that uh, opportunities like this are happening in Canada. Uh, I feel like it's happening for me at the right time. I feel like uh, I'm at the right moment physically and mentally mature enough to take on the, a big show and a big contract as, as a championship. So, uh, yeah, I'm just happy, super excited to get into it. Cool, so you're prepping for Road to One. What kind of different training are you going to do? Uh, different training I'm going to do. I always train hard, I always train. Uh, as in, I'm fighting for a world championship, so uh, I would not say that my training is going to be different. Uh, of course, the stakes are going to be higher, so uh, days that I feel like skipping, I'm not going to skip those days. Days that I, I feel a little bit more tired and I want to stay at home for sure, I'm not going to take those days. Uh, I'm going to take my training seriously. And uh, give it my own. What does Road to One mean to me? First of all, winning the eight man tournament, what does that mean to me? It means to me to prove that I'm one of the best in North America and in Canada, and that title is something that I always wanted to have. I always felt like I was one of the best in Canada. I'm ranked currently number one in the WBC ranking, so uh, winning the tournament itself gives me a chance to have that title as the best in Canada at my weight class and making it to one is just to show the world that I, I deserve to be there with top, the top class fighters in the whole world, so in the international level, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a proving ground for me, that's what it means. You said it's the right time, right age. How old are you right now? I'm 31. 31, cool. So when did you start practicing and fighting? Uh, my first fight, I was 18 years old, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Uh, I started training and four months after I took my first fight. <laughs> uh, I started a bit in MMA and uh, as soon as I got the Muay Thai bug, uh, I stick to Muay Thai. And, uh, yeah, I'm saying it's the right fight at the right time because I felt early on into my career, I was thrown into some big fights and I thought that maybe I was not ready for that early on into my career. Uh, a few years later down the road, I really feel like uh, I'm ready for it to take on big challenges like that. Can you tell me a bit more of, of, of why you're ready now versus before? Like, what's the difference? The difference is before I had I had a bunch of amateur fights, I won some amateur titles, and then as soon as I turned pro, I was uh, sent into some big fights that maybe I was not ready for. Uh, I got sent into Thai fight, I fought at Lupini for a, a, a rank uh, position, I fought at Rajan Adam as well for rank position, I fought at the Toyota Marathon for rank position, and all of these were done early on into my career, so I felt like maybe I was not ready for it at that time. Uh, I didn't win all those fights. Uh, I had some close fights though, but it gave me good experience and uh, I came back to North America and I had uh, the fights too to uh, build my professional career and then uh, yeah, so I feel like now I did big fights in Asia, I did big fights in North America. I feel like I have a bit of experience here and there and uh, I'm just ready to take on the challenges now. That's amazing, bro. One, thing, one more thing I want to ask. So obviously you win and you lose. You said you lost a few in amateur times. Can you give me some advice on how you push forward? How I push forward is that uh, I was just saying to myself that you know, I'm starting early on into my career. I'm finding people that are top rank in the world. In, in the world. If I'm going to lose to someone, I'd rather lose to someone that's uh, top rank in the world. I don't see why that should slow me down. And uh, yeah, it's, it's about keeping your head up. And uh, I had good coaches too that uh, that uh, that leaned on me. Back in Thailand, they always told me that even if I lost now, it's not about winning or losing. It's a learning curve. It's a learning experience. And uh, that learning experience got me to where I am right now. I'm going to fight for a contract for one championship in Canada, so I'm blessed. 
<laughs> my last question is, so in Thailand, what kind of different training do you do there versus stuff you do here? In Thailand, <laughs> the different training is just uh, the length of the training for one, and uh, the, the, uh, you can train like twice a day, uh, six, seven days a, a week. And, uh, uh, just in Thailand, it's like it's so focused, right? It's just, I sleep, I eat, uh, I train, I sleep, I eat, I train, and you just repeat. Everything's at the same spot, your, your, your bed's in the camp, your food's at the camp, your training's at the camp, you don't have to worry about working, you don't have to worry about uh, chores, you don't have to worry about errands, all you gotta do is uh, wake up, put your shoes on, put your gloves on, train, eat, sleep. So I would say uh, in Thailand it makes things a little bit more simple since everything is all in the same spot. In Canada, I have a little bit more obligations. I gotta work. Uh, I have uh, I have I have rent to pay. I have things to take care of. So I would think that maybe uh, Thailand, you're maybe more committed into your training. Uh, but uh, we still find a work a way to make it to make it work uh, over here. Uh, I'm working as a as a private trainer. I'm always in the gym, I, I teach my clients, and then after I teach my clients, I go ahead, go ahead and do my own training. So, uh, so, so, yeah. Yeah, I said the last one, but, so you mentioned you, yeah. you, you do, you have clients, right? So, yeah. someone wants you to personally train them one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. How do they reach you? Uh, they can reach me at uh, MuayThaiMontreal.com. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Steven, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-O-P-P, -P, and I have my website linked uh, into my bio. And uh, yeah, people in Montreal area, they write down uh, Muay Thai Coach, and I pop out there on Google, and uh, that's how they reach me, that's how they get to me. I'm in Calgary, you're in Montreal, I'm from Ontario originally, but it's kind of far. Do you offer online training? Uh, for the moment, there's no online training. I'm looking into it. Uh, maybe in the future, we can get into that. All right, bro. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing your fight. Looking forward to seeing you later on and, and talking to you again, man. Yeah, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for Thank your time, you so bro. Much. Thank you. <laughs>